Hello everyone. How are you guys doing? Hey. Okay. So hey, Gina, just, right hi. in front of you. Uh, hi. Two part quick question. First of all, what does it mean to, not only do you win at People's Choice Awards, you are here, what does it mean to represent a show that has so many women of color? And then second, when we talked to you at the LA um, fashion show, you were going over to the Philippines to represent the, the show and we're with GMA Philippines. Can you tell us what it was like being over there pushing the show? Well, uh, first and foremost, it is, <laughs> The nomination alone was a win for me because it allowed our culture, it allowed Latinos to see themselves in a beautiful light. It allowed them to see themselves where we all desire to be invited to the same party. So for me, the win meant everything and it went, meant a lot more than just me. When I look up into that screen and we change, we change the way we feel about ourselves, we change okay. our our perception of ourselves by the way art you know has created such a ripple effect and if we can create an effect that shows Latinos like the investment bankers the doctors the lawyers that exist in my own home then I think that'll change the way young girls young boys look at themselves and I think that that's needed especially now during a time where we have dealt with Eric Gardner and Michael Brown when we are dealing with a society that that is so diverse, that is so beautiful, and that is so human. We all need to remember that we all have the same stories and see them as such. Um, so that's the first part. The second part is the Philippines was awesome. The love and the support in the Philippines was through the roof, and I couldn't have felt more at home. Their graciousness, their hospitality made me feel right at home. So I'd love to go back in a heartbeat. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Your first Globes. Walk us through what you did today. What time did you get up? What did you eat? What was your glam squad like? Um, so I got up at like 7.30. I actually could not sleep last night to save my life. More so for the excitement of being here, being amongst my peers, amongst actors that I have admired for so long and am empowered by and inspired by. So. I couldn't sleep at all, <laughs> and I woke up at 7.30, I had bagels at the Bagel Broker on Fairfax and Beverly, uh, and it was awesome. And I brought some bagels home for my family, because my father loves cinnamon raisin bagels, so he was very happy about that. And uh, the Glam Squad came over, I had my boyfriend, who was so supportive, my entire family, uh, the designers came to make sure that my dress was solidly painted on my body today, and my Glam Squad, they're my friends. They believe in me and they've made me feel confident from the inside out, so anything they do, I'm happy with because they remind me that uh, beauty is, uh, comes from within. Yes. Felicidades. Oh, gracias. Uh, I want to ask you, with the success of recent uh, Latino uh, character TV shows like Jane and Ugly Betty yes. and The Bridge, uh, do you see uh, something changing in the way television portrays Latinos? And what kind of reaction have you gotten from young Latinos that see your show? Well, I'm definitely part of the testament that it's changing. So it's not only just something I see, but something I get to experience every day. I think that uh, networks are seeing, when you step outside the door, it is a very diverse world. You know, some just tan better than others, or, you know, we're very, we come from all different cultures and all different religions, but one thing that is true is that the human story is what brings us all together. We all love and are afraid of failure, want to succeed, want to make their dreams come true. We all know these feelings, and it's nice to start seeing that displayed on screen. I think it does something to a generation. I think it'll do something to the next generation when they see themselves in that light. It's been really awesome to see my communities come out and give me their support. It's really empowering to see young girls feel like they see themselves on screen. And if I can keep working at making sure that that happens, then God willing, I can do it to the day I die.
more hair on your left or right? Right. Sorry. I'm like, uh. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, Gina. Thank you. Um, how does it feel to be the first win, uh, Golden Globe win for the CW? And do you think that it's time for critics and people to start respecting the network, you know, a little more? That really, do you think it raises its profile? Well, I think what's been beautiful is with this show, critics have been extremely supportive. They have gone beyond the synopsis that can be a little, that could be a little. Um, touchy at times or scary to some, but the critics have been so open and welcoming and loving. And that's, you know, people have said to me like, that's, that's a first and I have only experienced that. So I only know the critics as that. And I thank them for this journey because they're the ones that put our show on the map from TCAs and on. We, we were bound for success whether viewership came or not, but what's beautiful is the viewership did come, but we were bound for success because the critics had our back. So for me, it's awesome that they've had our back. It's awesome for the CW. The CW has given me a family. They've given me a place to fly, and I hope that I can do everything in my power to repay them for that. Gina, ¿cómo sí. estás de Telemundo? Felicidades. Oh, gracias, gracias, papá. Un orgullo. ¿Qué se siente que ahora tú como latina estés poniendo el alto, en el alto el nombre de todos nosotros? Pues para mí, este, este trophy, ¿cómo se dice trophy en español? <laughs> trofeo. Este trofeo no es solamente para mí. Eso es para toda la cultura, es para toda la, la comunidad latino. Porque nosotros podemos hacer que quieres. Nosotros podemos, podemos hacer todo. Y ahora vemos que puede hacer todo. Sí. You guys rock. All right. Um, oh, so, yeah. sorry, yes. uh, the, the dress. Um, dress. When did you decide <laughs> on this dress and what makes you feel sexy? Um, so the dress, I decided like the, the, I decided the first day that we tried on dresses and uh, I thought we were done. She brought like 15 dresses and I was like, this is great, let's do it. And then I went to Miami for Christmas with my boyfriend and his awesome Cuban family. I came back not being able to fit into it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Too much arroz con candules. Um, but I... I came back and she had like 300 more for me to try on. And we tried on, I thought we were done. I was like, I thought we were done. We tried on a bunch more and it was still the same dress. To me, I just, it, it made me feel like I wasn't trying too hard. I was just being myself. And I feel, I feel sexy when, I feel sexy when inside I know that I can define sexy. When the definition of sexy for me is, confidence and strength and independence and and class <laughs> and that's how I feel today Gina thank you sí Juan Manuel Navarro de Televisa primera felicidades gracias ¿cómo vas a celebrar el día de hoy y a quién le dedicas el premio? me voy a celebrar con mi familia con well si mi papá y mi mamá quiere ir a un party con él, con los dos también, pero con mi familia, con, con, mi, con mi gente, mi, mi agent y manager y todo eso. Y, y también, si supuesta, con, con otros ganadores. <ríe> ¿Qué, per, ¿Perdón? Sí, pero ¿qué es eso en inglés? ¿Who do I give this to? ¿Who do I dedicate this to? Perdón, still practicing, you know. Um, para, para mi papá y mi mamá, los dos um, me dieron la, la, los sueños para ser una actriz y, y mi hermana. <laughs> Gina, to your right, it's yes. uh, Sam Rubin from KTLA. We're so happy and proud for you thank and you so happy so to much. run your show. Thank you, thank you. Uh, which we're going to be running for a while because you got other news today. Yeah, we got a second season today. Pretty awesome, yeah. <laughs> Pretty awesome win, if you ask me. So second season and you're holding that. What is this day like for you? Uh, ooh, it's like, it's like eating red velvet and knowing it's fat free <laughs> and not gonna do anything to me. No, it's, it's yeah. when I was a little girl, I, I dreamed of this moment and 
there's no better way to tell others that they can win too, but by let it, living your dreams. When you dream and you follow your dreams, you give others the allowance to do it yourself, themselves. So for me, it's so exciting to be able to tell someone else, hey, don't be afraid, go after it. Fear only exists between your two ears. Go on and take the world, man. You got this. That's how I was. <laughs> yeah, girl, get it. Uh.